All right. Okay, we are we are flying with the uh, 1400 SMC battery. We're in normal mode. We are just keeping an apples to apples comparison. This is a high performance battery and we certainly can fly very well in sport mode and manual mode. But just to keep things consistent, we're just being uh, Keeping in a normal mode. Completely stopped. This is, uh, like I said, completely stopped configuration. This is much more for a uh, performance type of job, but we're just going to see the longevity. It is uh, 1400 milliamps, so I expect to have less, less flight time. Nowhere near as agile as my improved one, improved uh, FPV drone. Understandable. He like said, "This is what this is what stock gives you, without the improvements that I've done on my other drone." Okay, this is the scientific test. All right, we got, uh, we're approaching three minutes now. Beautiful cornfield. Three minutes now. Now this the uh, way this drone is acting is definitely reminding me of my first days on uh, working with it. But like I said, this is another FPV drone, not completely stock, hasn't even been, no settings changed or anything, and it's uh, hardly ideal. Now my other drone, it's got the four blade props on it, uh, it flies very well, I'm very happy with it, and it's also been Still broken and uh, settings have been changed, and it actually rips around really good. Very happy with it. But in this case, please bear with me. It's just a video of how flying around in normal mode. Very boring, I'm sure. Just compare apples to apples, see the, the flight times between the two setups. Just so you all can have an idea of what you can expect out of a bone stock setup. Oh, I actually have them put on here. When sensing an obstacle to bypass, so it automatically slows down, and when it does that, it jitters all around. So, you know. None of these settings have been put into this, so bear with me. I can say this is this to show you all how the bone stock FPV drone is a uh, performance that you might expect on a windless day.
at least we have beautiful corn to pass the time. Video evidence of uh, its uh, performance on normal mode. I believe in another video, yes, actually I did on my performance drone, I call it my sport drone. I was flying it in full manual and it looks very impressive. But again, that's my sports drone. This one is just stock. Like, it can't stand to be close to anything. That's why I fly around in many miles. So touchy. But we're doing this for the for you, the viewers, for you, the subscribers or non-subscribers, whatever the case may be. Just putting this out as information. Just showing you how this operates. beautiful backdrop of this corn. I've watched it ever since it was planted. Spoke to the farmers, owners. We are on six minutes now. Now this 1400 milliamp battery is a uh, setup that I have is only nine grams heavier than the original one. So, that I have also demonstrated in the video by showing you on the scale. We are approaching 8 minutes, 7 minutes and 30 seconds now. Well, let's get the bird. We are exactly at eight minutes now. Fifty-six percent showing in the goggles. Bird's going to try to dive bomb my, my drone. All right. We are approaching eight minutes and 50 seconds. We have on the clock right now. We are 50% battery. We are approaching, we are on nine minutes now. 9 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, 10 minutes now. The 45% battery. Remember, these are LiPo batteries and not Lion batteries. Even if you were to put Lion batteries onto this drone, which has been done before, it's not by me, 
So the advantage of lie on batteries is that they uh, are allowed to go to much lower voltages, therefore have longer flight time. However, for this drone, it has a voltage cutoff threshold, so that really can't be taken advantage of, and, and the drone will land regardless of what you do to keep it from landing. So that's a note for you all. On normal FPV drones, not the DJI one, you can take this and rely on batteries, but not so on this. So you don't really notice a significant increase in battery time, just a lot of weight penalty. So we are now 39%, we are 11 minutes. So this, if I may dare say so, probably is the best combination for this drone for non DJI batteries. It's only 9 grams more, so we're not adding anything too much to this drone when it comes to weight, because this drone cannot abide weight. It is already heavier than it should be, but we can work with it. So here we're at 35%. So what we're going to do is for the sake of the LiPo battery, you don't want to let the voltage get too low. You don't want to let the cells go below 3.4 ideally and definitely not at 3.2 because then you might actually do irreparable damage long term to the battery. So. Here we are at 32%, we're on 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes, now uh, we landed at 32 percent, a little over 12 minutes of flight time, and uh, with this battery system, we unplug it, very simple, just press the two just like ordinary setup, and then we've got the whole setup right here. Now we're going to unplug the main cable, power cable first. Then we're going to unplug the balance lead. Here we go. Now we're going to check the battery. All right, we are 21 volts check the cells we're at 3.4 volts per cell 3.5 that's actually really good uh, voltage to be landing at and we've uh, you know done good for the battery we haven't extended it beyond a lower flight time beyond what it should be we don't want the volt the cells to drop to three point uh, we wanted to land it no more than no less than 3.4 so we're at 3.4 3.5 um, for 12 minute flight actually is pretty good. Uh, here's our 1400 CMSC battery and uh, other videos that you see on my channel regarding this uh, go over the weight. But I will tell you the weight of this and this together is no more than 9 grams over the ordinary DJI battery. So this has entirely stock configuration, no additional arms, no camera, no nothing. So this is an apples to apples comparison. There you go. There is our setup.